Hello everyone, welcome to Manget Brains. Today we are going to learn about different types of landforms. But what is a landform? Oh, what a big word it is, isn't it? So children, landforms means we all are living at different places, isn't it? And we are living at different landforms. It means the places is having different type of land. Some of us might be living at the hilly region where there are so many mountains. Some of them are living in the cities, on the plains where there is no mountain, nothing. Some of us are living near the riverside and some of us might be living in the deserts. So, all these different, different types of lands and the places where we, where we live are called land forms. In simple language, different types of lands, different forms of lands are land forms. Okay? So, let us see what are the different types of land forms. See, the first one, you all know what is this? Yes, it's a mountain. The mountain is completely covered with the snow, this white colored mountain. So, the mountains are very tall and having the peak, isn't it? The mountain peak, the top of the mountain is called as mountain peak. These are the mountains, okay? So, what do we call them? The high landform is mountain. Now let's see valley. Oh, what is valley? Valley is between two mountains. Can you see this mountain? And this one is another mountain. Isn't it? So the V-shaped structure, the V-shape between these two mountains is known as valley. Okay? Let us repeat one more time. The V-shaped structure between two mountains. One mountain is like this and another mountain is like this. It creates a V-structure between both the mountains. That is known as valley. That is known as valley. Now, this is a plateau. This is also a at a high distance from the land. Okay. These are also a types of mountains. These are also like mountains. But as we have seen, mountains are having peaks. They are having peaks at the top. But can you see in this picture? Plateaus are having the broad flat structure on the top. Okay. The plateaus are broad and flat flat at the top. They are not having the peak. So, mountains are having peak and plateaus are not having peak. There are, the pla plateaus are broad and flat. Now, let us see beautiful river. Yes, it is a water body. It is also a type of landform. Many people used to stay near the rivers. Okay? This is a river. Now, what is this? It is a lake. It means it is bigger than a river and it is having more water than a river. The bigger water body is known as lake. What is this? This is the picture of a lake. Now let's see. Wow, what a beautiful place. Can you see everywhere there is water? And only there is a small land between the water where people can live. So it is known as island. This place is known as island. Island is covered from all sides with the water. Okay, the water has covered all the sides. The island is between the water. Yes, so island is the place which is situated between the water. Okay, can you see 
any other land no there is just one land between the water this is known as island island now these are the plains plains and it can be coastal plains also means the plains which are near to the rivers and oceans and seas those are known as coastal plains these are the simple plains the farmers used to plow the fields it is the best area for irrigation for planting the trees and planting and living this is the best place so children it is known as plains the plain area okay now these are the deserts what are deserts children desert is a place where there is so much of sand okay we can see sand everywhere okay so here also in this picture you can see there is so much of sand and it is very hot during the day time and it is very cold during the night time but do you know that trees cannot grow in this desert yes because the temperature is not good so here the tree the date plants and the cactus plants grows okay and the people who are living in the desert they need to take water from very far areas because there is no water in the nearby areas so everywhere there is sand and very little amount of water can be found in the desert okay this is also a land form where people used to live and stay so children today we have learnt about different types of land forms land forms means the places the forms of lands where we can live okay thank you everyone